Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Some people ask me if it's possible to do shadowing to music. I'm very reluctant to agree to that because shadowing, as you know, is listening to a native speaker and imitating them. But the way they actually speak is very different from the way they actually sing. Because when a singer sings, he tends to hold the notes longer than a speaker does. If you try to shadow with that, you would end up sounding a little bit strange because you'd be holding your words too much, you know. Um, anyway, shadowing is really only to practice the sounds of speaking. It's not really designed for you to be capturing words at all. So that makes shadowing with music a little bit more difficult. However, if you do want to try it, it would be better to find music with a message, such as folk music, or music which perhaps has a lot of emphasis on the lyrics without too many beats. So, I'm not referring to Iron Maiden here, but one person you could shadow with who has some nice ballads is perhaps Cat Stevens. He was a singer in the 1960s and 70s. He's still around today, although he's a very colorful character. Uh, his personality, his voice has changed a lot since the early days. But the music of Cat Stevens is very nice, melodic, and slow. He's very easy to understand. And I'm thinking about... A few of the songs that I remember, one is called Father and Son. It's a lovely song to study. The lyrics are very nice. It's lovely and slow. And it sounds like he's speaking the song. He's not someone that holds a note particularly long, which means Cat Stevens would be perfect for shadowing. I don't remember exactly the life of Cat Stevens. I think he's half Greek, half English, but he has a lovely voice. And I think the only accompaniment he used was the guitar. Another good singer might be Elton John, although he does tend to hold notes rather long in some of his songs. But he also only has one instrument, and that's the piano. So both Elton John and Cat Stevens would be very good because it sounds like they're just speaking slowly. It doesn't sound like they're having uh, songs. Although, of course, there are fast and slow songs as well. So folk music generally would be very good. And if you prefer a female voice, you perhaps could try Mary Hopkin. She had a very nice voice in the 1960s, very easy to understand. Uh, and I think her music is all on uh, YouTube. Well, I'm sure it is on YouTube, Mary Hopkin. Scylla Black is another one, although she tended to hold notes very long. But it's these kind of people that you want to catch. Cat Stevens, Elton John, Scylla Black, or maybe even Barry Manilow. Uh, he sings songs which sound like he's just speaking, you know, nice and soft, uh, like a ballad, you know. Anyway, these are just a few ideas if you do want to sing along with someone or do some shadowing. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say on that. So I wish you a very good day and I'll catch up with you again soon. Goodbye.